And speaking of Ukraine, the White House is finally fessing up about the cost so far of this proxy war that we're funding in Ukraine. According to documents obtained by Fox News Digital, the total, for now at least, is $101.2 billion, with plans to spend another $9.8 billion in the coming months. Now, to give you a sense of the enormity of this, our entire Pentagon budget is about $800 billion. So it's an eighth of what we spend for our country. And to think Congress wouldn't give Trump a measly $5 billion for the wall. Joining me now is Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, who had been demanding this information for the Biden administration for months. Senator, um, the OMB director sent you a letter saying this funding is critical to Ukraine's success on the battlefield. Uh, what is their definition of success these days over there, well, Senator? Well, that's precisely the problem, Laura, is the president refuses to define success and refuses to actually tell us how much money we have to spend and how much time we have to spend to get to that success. This is a classic military quagmire. This is what we've been told for generations that we have to avoid, a blank check that is unlimited, that sends money out the door without any obvious benefit to our national interest. My very basic question of Republicans and Democrats alike is, why are we being such a cheap date of the Biden administration? If they're asking for another $9 billion, another, another $24 billion, you know, what's another $35 billion among friends? Why don't we at the very least demand to know what that money is going to buy and how it gets us closer to victory? Um, Anthony Blinken, the Secretary of State, wants everyone to know why we need to keep spending this money. And this is what he said. I think it's very clear to us uh, and to, to many uh, in Congress that this additional assistance is something that Ukraine needs in this moment. It's not only the right thing to do, it's the smart uh, and necessary thing to do in our own interests. In our own interests. Well, the American people don't think so. And, and certainly it looks like a majority of Republicans do not think so. So that means Senate leadership is not representing the desires and concerns and the priorities of their own constituents. Absolutely right, Laura. And you hear this slogan again and again. It's not just the right thing to do, but it's in our own interest. But they never define how it's in our own interest. And here's what this war is costing us. Potentially a worldwide food crisis because Ukraine is the breadbasket of Europe. God forbid a potential nuclear war if this thing escalates further. Europe already has an energy crisis. We're destabilizing allied governments in Eastern Europe because they can't afford food or fuel for their citizens. So we're not just sending $150 billion. We're actually causing significant problems for ourselves. It is not in our interest to continue to fund this indefinitely. Well, didn't the North Korean dictator now make you know, um, overtures to Putin and the two of them are going to get even closer. Not that they were total enemies before, but they're going to be working together more. Russia's getting closer to China, closer to North Korea. And oh, by the way, Laura, you have to remember, we don't make enough of our own artillery shells, our own munitions to actually fund, God forbid, a future military conflict if it ever came with China. So we're actually firing bullets in Russia and in Ukraine that we need for ourselves. This is a massive depletion of our own military resources. Laura, you can go down the list and identify the ways in which this is a direct contravention of our national interest. The idea that it serves America's national interest, I think, is just a farce. Um, I was reading something online, forgive me for not remembering the source, but it was a former military official, high ranking, who said that if we were to take on China, if we wanted to take on China, if they went into Taiwan, if, this, if that would come about, we would need a national draft, a military draft, because of the massive deficits we have in recruiting. Who, who there on Capitol Hill is going to be now going to the American people and say, by the way, everyone get ready to sit by your radio or TV or go online because your draft number might be called up? That's exactly right, especially when we don't even manufacture enough weapons to give those troops, even if we did draft them. This is a huge, huge catastrophe, Laura. And, and think about this. Why does China want the war between Russia and Ukraine to continue indefinitely? Why do they want America to continue to feed billions of dollars into Ukraine? Why do Ukraine? they want us in Iraq and Afghanistan? They love be that, too. Because it distracts us from the real threat, which is the Chinese. This is a massive, massive strategic victory for China, because every minute that we focus on Russia is a minute that we're not focused on China. Senator, thanks for coming into the studio. Thank Great you. to see you. And he's wearing jeans with his blazer, by the way. Sorry, I had to just out you on that. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.